Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on back. I am Orion. I am excited to be playing more yet another zombie survivor with their new private beta, private beta update. This is a private beta right now. Um, they gave access to co some content creators and people in their discord. So this is not quite live yet. It will be soonish, maybe within a week or so, at least another public beta and then it'll go live into the game soon if you want to see all the changes they added check out my previous videos we go over those a lot more in detail today we're just going to jump into the build so we're going to run a tank as our main character um and this tank is going to have some cool synergies here we're basically going to try to do kind of a full synergy build with the medic and the ghost but what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get some of these new evolutions the bombing strike and the fury unleashed which we haven't seen yet and we're gonna pick up the medic as our second character and so we're gonna get a synergy here so fury unleashed now also increases health regeneration pretty sweet because we're gonna try to get that evolutionized uh then we're gonna pick up the medic the medic we're gonna run i guess we'll probably run these two abilities right now because i don't have these ones um i don't have these ones enough points to do this yet because i haven't played enough so you're seeing these evolutions as i'm seeing them but we're gonna run experiment 21 and we're gonna run the medical drone evolutions we'll try to level those up as much as we can and get those uh with evolutions and then as our third character we'll pick the ghost with the ghost uh experiment 21 explosions now have a chance to fire shurikens as well we're gonna pick up the ghost second though i think the ghost is gonna be i think we'll go with the ghost as our second character because i do think we're gonna need dps here but with the ghost, we're gonna get explosions, have a chance to fire shurikens as well. And then finally, the ghost, I, which I haven't played once yet. Um, we're gonna do the shurikens and then we're gonna do pulsar. And she, or the ghost is gonna have a synergy with the medic where every ghost, every kill the ghost gets, we're gonna re regenerate a health. So it's pretty sweet. We should have a good amount of regeneration. Uh, in terms of damage, we'll see. That's why I wanna pick up the ghost second and not the medic. I think we're I think we're better off doing starting off with some DPS first. So let's go tank, isolated city, endless mode. Let's drop some of these. We're gonna do the health regeneration and healing bonuses, health and armor. Let's do damage and then I think this will be a good one too for this class, especially if we pick up the medic. So weapon cooldown reduction and then ability cooldown reduction. Let's run that. We're gonna run difficulty one because this game's still hard because I don't have hardly any meta progression still. So again, with this character, we're gonna try to prioritize the bombing strike and fury unleashed. It, with these videos kind of like the last video too these aren't necessarily we're not at the point yet in this game where i'm trying to do the best builds possible this is let's just check out all the cool shit they added <laughs> that's what we're trying to do here i want to see what the different evolutions are i haven't really seen these yet so we're kind of all seeing them at the same time i haven't really been grinding much offline uh but i probably will because i do want to get my meta progression up so we can start doing better in our runs but yeah that, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the gist of some of these future videos we're just gonna try to do as much as we can and see and see as many evolutions as we can so brahmin strike looks to be our priority here okay let's do fury unleash there Let's do Fury Unleashed again. So what's cool about these evolutions is every class gets two, um, or I should say each ability gets two upgrades, two evolution choices. So we're gonna make sure that we see both of them before we lock into one. Okay, I'm gonna do Shotgun here. Because again, I fear for my damage a little bit. We should be okay. If I pick up the ghost second though, I think I think that'll be okay. Yeah, let's go shotgun again. 
I want to at least get to the pump action. Okay, what do we got here? Burning enemies have a chance to explode. We're not really going to be doing any burning. Every 300 points of max HP grants you 3% critical strike. That could be okay. When a damage dealt against a full health enemy is a critical, the final damage is so basically adds more crit damage. Attack against injured enemies have a 50% critical chance. That's really good. Um, so this has a 13% chance to injure an enemy hit. And if we can get this up to 10, they'll do less damage to us. We're not going to have a ton of kinetic, though. The only kinetic we're going to have really is our tank. But that's pretty solid. 50% critical chance in 20. So we can put... I'm pretty sure you can put the status effects on these bosses. So I think we take this one. Even though we'll, we'll have a small chance of applying bleed here, but... Okay, there's our SOS. Okay, bombing strike. Okay, so we gotta loop around and get him. The SOS is, I think, our random, really random times now, because this one showed up at two minutes. I've had some of them show up at four minutes. I was just like, oh, oh, come on. I'm not even gonna be able to get to him. This is what I was worried about, just not being strong enough. Okay, so we got our first one here, Bioweapon. Ability now drops a single, much more powerful bomb that deals chemical damage. Double the damage, but only one bomb. Huger, like, three times the range. But then, look at that cooldown, 36 seconds. Oh, that is not... That is not something I want to see. But it is chemical, and we are going to pick up the Medic. And so, as I was showing you, every there's these tags now. And so the more chemical you have, the more chances you have to apply Toxify and things like that. And then if you get 10, you get a bonus. That one, I, we'll have to see what the other one is. We'll have to see what the other one is. But I think I'm probably leaning towards, towards the biochemical right now. But again, let's see what this the next one's going to do. Ability duration. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get... Oh, Supercharge. Uh, Drox... EMP instead dealing electric damage. So it does 50 more damage and now it's going to drop EMP bombs. That seems cool too, but I think we go with the other one just because it's chemical. Even though I, I hate that cooldown. I think we'll do that because I think that'll synergize a little bit better with our build. Okay, we got to reroll these. I want to get the ghost right away. No way. Don't make me waste all my rerolls. No way. There. Jeez. I hate wasting rerolls on classes. But I, uh, again, this isn't, this isn't an optimized build. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pick up the ghost and just try to get some extra damage here. They really up the difficulty for this game too, I think. Or, I, I guess I shouldn't say they upped the difficulty, but because of the meta progress almost resetting, it is a lot harder now. Okay, biocharge. We're not doing biocharge. Um, Kunai Dance. Not one of the ones we want it, because we want um, the Shuriken. So let's do Fury Unleashed here. My meta progression, too, is mainly in towards... Uh, okay, let's do the pump action. Uh, my meta progression right now is mainly put into things that are going to help me get more meta progression. <laughs> so we're not going to be... I'm definitely not going to be strong. Uh, I put a lot of the points into, into money, uh, XP for my characters, things like that. So if we do seem a little bit weak, that's that's probably why, too. Okay, we're not going to see that other one again, are we? Uh, let's do... Ugh. I don't want to re-roll these yet, either. But I do kind of want to get another ability so we get some damage going. 
Let's do... Oh, Kunai is kinetic, so let's do that. Okay, what do we get here? Every time you receive damage, you gain 50% attack speed and then 20. That's pretty good. Let's see. Frozen enemies can... Frozen enemies... Uh, we're not going to freeze at all. Weapon attacks on full health enemies are always critical. Ooh, or each time you get an SOS, you gain 5% damage. I would take Ring of Power, but to be honest... I think those are I think the ring of power is better if you're going to be playing a long game. I don't think we survive much longer than 20 minutes here. Let's do weapon attacks on full health enemies are always critical, which is most of the enemies. <laughs> most of these enemies are going to be full health and then it's always going to be critical, right? So let's do. We could do weapon. This one's the better upgrade, but we might go with weapon critical damage now. And then we'll put that on our tank. So hold on, is it just weapon attacks? Weapon, so it's just gonna be weapon attacks, okay. It's not gonna be abilities. Okay, so here, man, we're not gonna get the bio one. Here's Pulsar, generate electric pulses from your cybernetic suit that damage nearby targets. Is that, that seems like a new ability. That wasn't, oh shoot. <laughs> That's a pretty low radius, though. Oh, I guess we are going to have some electric now, though. Uh, I still don't think that changes what I'm doing, though. I think we still go with the chemical. Oh, here's hollow ghost. So shurikens. Okay, let's do shurikens. Okay, so now what we now what I want to do is I want to get this medic. You, you got to be kidding me. Okay, let's do. So Shuriken is slashing. Let's do Hollow Ghost. Let's just get a little bit of all these abilities out here. Uh, and let's not die. I want to come get this health. Okay, here's the bioweapon. Uh, so ability now drops a single much more powerful bomb. So that better one hit, right? That's gotta be one hit. Like one hit kills here for that much damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was huge. Um, okay, let's do kunai. That killed much larger than the explosion radius, I heard the than the radius it showed on the screen. I think it killed pretty much the whole screen. But that's such a long cooldown. Okay, let's get this SOS in. I really hope it's the medic because I don't have a lot of rerolls here. And we need this medic to get our to get some heals going. We should get some decent life regeneration, yes, thank you. So now we get synergy with the medic right now. We get we get synergy with Fury Unleashed, gaining health, and then we get synergy with every time the ghost kills someone, we gain some health. I'm going to do Katana. I'm going to do some of the weapons here. Okay, we're still not killing very quickly here, and we're still taking a lot of hits. Okay, let's do experiment 21. So this is a new ability. Throw experimental substance, substance grenades that contain either liquid nitrogen or chemical. Yeah, let's do that. And then I need a lot of things here though. I still need, like I need to get the stim pack. I don't know how much I like that chemical bomb though. I like the idea of it. 
I don't like the super long cooldown though. Super long cooldowns in this game are not good. Cause look at this, this it's I feel like I need to constantly I feel like I constantly need to be doing damage to enemies in order to in order to not get hit, you know? And having something that attacks so infrequently. Even if it does kill all the enemies on the screen, it still seems that the regular grenade or regular um, bombs might be better. The first reroll of each power up selection is now guaranteed to be free. For each damage tag with at least three, we get dash or dodge, cash, and XP. We have a we already have three of them at three so, or four of them at three, so I think we'll probably take that. Uh, damage. Oh, this is pretty good, though. Damage against an enemy is increased by 20% for each status effect on them. So we can do... We can do Injure. Uh, we can do Bleed. We can do Toxify. So maybe we take that one. That's a lot of damage. Um, when damage against a full enemy health... Oh my gosh. Hold up. Is that... That pairs so well with this one. Or which one? This one. Weapon attacks on full health enemies are always critical. And then when a damage dealt against a full enemy health is a critical hit, the final damage... Oh my gosh, that's the ultimate crit combo. Because we're always going to crit. We're always going to crit on full health enemies. So this is always going to do damage and a half. We'll take that. Okay, let's do... I want to do the pump action, but we're going to commit to the build and we're going to do Experiment 21 here. Because we got to see what the evolution is for this. So again, it's only... this The, the damage increase is only against these full health enemies. But honestly, that's going to be a lot of them, uh, right? <laughs> a lot of the times we're going to be fighting a full health enemy. Okay, let's do... Stim Pack. How's our health regeneration looking? Okay, I guess. Okay, we'll do the pump action here. Okay, I want to get this magnet now. All right, let's do resuscitate just in case. Let's do pump action again. Let's do... We're not seeing the ones we want. We can do minigun here. Experiment 21. Yes. Yeah, that was a good amount of level ups right there. All right, let's do... Ability crit chance? No, we haven't really... We, the only ability we've really taken at the moment is... Although, wait, I can put these on other characters now. Uh, okay. So... Ability damage we'll put on the ghost. Okay, let's do medical drone. I like the, I like and hate the medical drone. I like that she gets a new weapon, but I hate that in order for you to heal, you have to hold still. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I'm definitely not a fan of that. This is a, this is the type of game where you can't stand still. I'm not a fan of standstill abilities. And the health regeneration really, I don't know if it's worth it. Jeez, that's a huge explosion. Right, I just I just don't know if it's worth it to hold still and get a, a little bit of a health regen. Oh, okay, we got that barely. Okay, so re 
reduces movement impairing effects and we get extra movement speed frozen enemies can emit we're not freezing enemies this one we probably take um kinetic slashing and explosive damage that's almost our whole build uh the ghost does slashing we do kinetic our tank does kinetic and explosive so i think we go with that one fire ice and electric less damage um the ghost does have some electric damage though so that does hurt him but his main ability is slashing so now i'm a little conflicted but i think we take that because kinetic and explosive is huge for us okay let's do let's do um <laughs> like it would put more ability area on that on the already huge let's do ability crit chance and we'll put that on i guess i'll put it on the ghost most of his ability well i guess no not all he only has two electric abilities the others are kinetic and slashing okay let's do let's do fury unleashed we're one away from that Okay, then let's okay so here's the first one um so again we're not going to take this yet until we see the next one uh cooperation ability is now equally shared between all survivors cool so so if you i don't know if i talked about this in this video yet but each character has their own separate stats now it's no longer a global thing where everybody has the same crit chance the same damage and all of that it's now it's now every character's on their own um, so usually when you get Fury Unleashed, it only applies towards your, your tank. So only the tank would get the damage, attack speed, and cooldown reduction. This would now split it between all three. So that sounds really cool. Uh, let's do the medical drone though. For now, because we are, I do want to see what the other one is. After seeing that one, I bet the, the next one just makes it stronger maybe for the tank like one's a all for one and the other one's a a one for all and all for one kind of like um uh my hero academia you either share the power or you take the power that's my guess uh heroism maybe Ability is, oh, ability is now always active, but its bonus is reduced by, oh, that's actually not what I was expecting. Huh. Okay, so here's the kicker. We have, with the medic, we have a synergy where when Fury Unleash is active, we gain life regeneration. So this means if I, if Fury Unleashed is always active, I'm always going to get health regeneration, right? That sounds super good. This one sounds really good too, but the way I'm kind of thinking about this, I think this might be better. Yeah, it does less stats, but for this one, I don't care about giving these stats to my medic. I don't care about giving her extra damage. I don't care about giving her extra attack speed. And I don't care about giving her weapon cooldown reduction. So that's the only thing I can think about with this one is I don't care about giving her the stats. So I feel like putting some of the stats on her is wasted. Whereas this one, it would always be active even though it's less and I gain healing full time. So I think we'll go heroism. Having full time healing sounds pretty good. So that's why we're going with that. That's, that's my logic here. We hit a power curve now to where we are now the strong ones. This game definitely has these shifts in power. 
where you start off strong, then it seems like the enemies are stronger than you. And then you can kind of take over once you get some evolutions. Okay, so we'll go Shuriken because that's our ability we're trying to get the evolution on. We need to get all these military trainings. There's a bunch of them on the map. Okay, ability reduction. Let's do that. I'm going to put that on the medic. I think the medic benefits the most from cooldown reduction here on our team. Although I guess I could... I wouldn't mind seeing our... Our huge explosion here go off a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Bleeding status. So these two are a no. Uh, bleeding status ticks twice as fast. We put bleeding on. Oh, no, we don't put bleeding on a lot. We need to get bleeding up a little bit more. But we will with slashing. So I think we'll take that because we're going to get a lot of slashing abilities here. Okay, let's do experiment. Oh, is this the upgrade? Grenades are now chemical only? Aw, oh, man. Is that what they're going to be? Okay, so that probably means this one's going to be chemical only and the other one's going to be frost only. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. I don't know if I like those. We'll see, but I would bet the other one's frost only. Okay, let's do the katana. Let's get this guy's weapon going. Uh, Yeah, now they're ice only. Dang, that's not... That's not what I was hoping for, but that's not horrible because I almost like them alternating. Right. I, I like them alternating between poison and frost. I think we'll go with the chemical one, though, just because we have a lot of chemical going here and we're not going to have a lot of frost. OK, let's do the minigun. Let's do medical drone because we still need to see what the medical drone is. I would love to I'm really hoping one of them is your medical drone always heals. I would love to see that versus you don't need to hold still. I really hope that's one of the upgrades for that weapon. Because one of them's got to be I would imagine since there's two of them, one of them is probably geared towards healing. The other one is geared towards damage, right? I think that sounds logical. Okay, let's do shurikens. All right, let's do... I guess we'll do handgun. Because the, the problem, unless they changed her... I wonder if they changed her main weapon now. Oh, I didn't even look at that. Because her main weapon... So, just real quick... In, again, I don't know what her her main level three weapon is now, but before her main level three weapon was you would throw chemical bombs or ice bombs. I wonder if this subs out her main weapon now and her main weapon is something different. That would make a lot more sense then. Because it would seem redundant to throw two chemical bombs for her <laughs> for her attacks. Let's do ability damage, and we'll put that on. I'll put that on. No, let's put it on ghost. What are our shurikens doing? Do they bounce off enemies now? They seem to be flying everywhere.
Okay, let's do medical drone. Okay. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. This is an insane combo. Weapon critical hits reduce current cooldowns of every ability. Look at these items we have. Always crit on full health. Then the crit damage. And so now weapon crits are going to reduce the abilities. We have to take that. That's a stupid combo. Because we're going to be doing so many crits all the time. I kind of have a feeling we just found one of the, the stupidest combos already. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, offense. Uh, the drone switches to attack only mode, damage and attack. See, I, I knew that's kind of the same thing. That's kind of like almost exactly what I thought it would be. Um, I wasn't hoping that it would be only offense, though. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. I and like this one because I like the idea of them alternating, you know, I like the idea of them. I like the idea that experiment 21 is a chemical grenade and a frost grenade. I don't like the idea that now it's only going to be one. And then same with this. I like that it's an attack drone and a healing drone, but I don't like that. It's you're turning it to only one that ruins part of the part of the fun of the weapon. It's because now you're just basically you're losing half of its ability uh, so the other one is definitely going to be defense so it probably heals you all the time so we'll go with the chemical grenade for now I wish they would have added some I wish it would have been a little bit different I guess I don't mind it being more offensive uh, more offensive oriented and then more defensive oriented but getting rid of one half of the ability. I don't know if, necessarily know if I like that. I like I like it where it more modifies it a little bit, but it still keeps the kind of the same idea because I like that's what I like about the uh, the bombing strike. You still get a bombing strike, but now you you either do one giant bomb or you. Oh, that's why it's shooting. Hold on. Sorry. That's why I'm shooting out shurikens, huh? Because of my grenade. I was, or my experiment 51 synergy. I was wondering why that was happening. It literally just popped in my head as I was thinking that. Sorry, we're all over the place here. All right, let's go minigun. Uh, but what I like about this bombing strike is this, it's the same thing, but it keeps, it keeps its uniqueness of being a bomb that drops, but now it's one giant bomb that does chemical damage or a bunch of bombs that do uh electric damage so it still keeps the same idea of the weapon and it doesn't lose anything okay let's go with ability cooldown reduction let's put that on the medic Okay, oh, the offense again. Okay, let's go Katana. All right, we're not, we're never gonna see defense on. Huh? Okay, let's do Shurikens. Okay, gives a chance for the ability activation to reduce this next cooldown by half. What's the chance, though? That's a really good item, uh, but I need to know what the chance is. Gives a chance to reduce, especially since we have a super long cooldown. Um, I think we'll replace it with this one. I 
I'm definitely not I'm gonna keep all of these crit items. So let's take this and let's replace it with um this one. Yeah. That ability seems really good. I wonder what the per or that item sounds really good. I wonder what the chance is though. Because <laughs> having a, oh my gosh, we're gonna have. S this feels like a broken build already. We don't have the meta progression though to really show that it is. But between all the crits and the cooldown reduction we have, this seems insane right now. Okay, now spawns one single shuriken that jumps from enemy to enemy up to 15 times. So it does like a bounce attack. Let's do handgun. Defense. Drone switches to heal only mode. Generates a shield that nullifies one damage instance before breaking. That sounds that actually sounds pretty good. And now shurikens act like boomerangs. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's go with the boomerangs because I don't think we need the healing yet. We also might be able to take a offense. Let's go with boomerang. OK, let's go. I'm still thinking about what I want to do here. The damage increase is nice, but I really wonder like how much damage it really is going to be. Let's do. Oh, let's do Pulsar, because that's the other ability we can get overclocked with the ghost. OK, let's do weapon crit chance and we'll put that on tank. Oh, look at the look at the shurikens. Sweet. Yeah, I have a feeling we unmistakably stumbled onto this insane combo. Let's go over our combo here real quick. Weapon critical hits reduce cooldown ability, reduce cooldowns of every ability by 0.1 second. Um, attacks against injured enemies have a 50% critical chance and 25% critical damage. Weapon attacks on full health enemies are always critical. When damaging against a full health enemy is a critical, which is going to be a hundred percent of the time, we're now doing one and a, we're doing now half time higher, like fifty percent higher, and then gives a chance for the ability to reduce its cooldown. It's like a critical cooldown reduction build. It's this is going to be insane for sub for some of these builds. See, there's another bomb. Just like that, we did another bomb. That was not, <laughs> that must have had the, the half reduction and then on top of all the crits. Okay, let's do handgun. Cause I wanna see what her weapon is. I wanna see if she gets a new weapon. Yeah, this is crazy right now. This combo is very, very potent. Okay, I don't even think I want to take other items anymore. Um, yeah, let's skip these. Honestly, I, I'm pretty sure we're just going to stick with... Well, what do we have? What, can any of these be replaced? This one could be replaced, but I don't think so, because I think that's still a good one for us. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at all the shurikens we're throwing out too. We have multiple out at the same time sometimes. Okay, let's do offense, I guess, right? Let's do offense. Katana Splash. Let's go back to Pulsar. Pulsar is the only evolution we have left that we haven't seen yet. Okay, um, after receiving cash, we get super speed. So again, none of these uh, 15 damage for every empty slot, rerolls, XP modifiers, no. Okay, let's do stim pack. Okay, let's do Pulsar. So now we just need to see the next level up here. Unstoppable. Pulsar additionally pushes enemies back. Um, let's go Minefield. So let's see what the other one is before we before we commit. guy I did not see that coming the game ramped up a lot here okay overheat pulse pulser now deals fire damage um I think we'll just go with the knockback, I think. I don't have any fire tags. Let's go minefield here. I think the knockback sounds pretty good too. Okay, let's do ability crit chance on ghost.
All right, um, let's do Katana Splash. All right, ability area increase for pickup range for each damage. Yeah, these are all skips again. I honestly don't think we're gonna find a better combo than what we have right now. Oh, holy sh Nikes. Yeah, this ramps up so fast. All right, we need our health regeneration to kick in here. <laughs> It does not go up very fast, right? We're getting like four or five, four, getting like four or five a second. That's not a lot on top of what the ghost does. All right, let's do the pushback. Yeah, we're we're gonna die here soon. There's a lot happening on the screen now too. It's so much harder to oh man, I just ran right through the poison. As I was saying that, <laughs> it's so much harder to see what's going on. I appreciate how colorful and vibrant it is, so I think it <laughs> I think it looks cool, but it is a little bit hard to see to see everything. Uh, okay, let's do Katana Splash. Maybe I should have taken the defensive drone. Oh, that hurt so bad. I, oh, there's our revive. Damn. All right, this might be this might be the end. I can't believe how much it ramps up here all of a sudden, right? This ramps up so much from where we were at like five minutes ago. The difficulty spike here is insane. Okay, let's do thousand cuts. Okay, let's do ability damage on ghost again. I wonder if this is my best run yet, though. It might be. I can't remember how far we got with our other, my other run the other day. Um, let's do syringe gun. I thought that was going to hit me. I don't really have any urgency to go get this, um, to go get this crate because I'm pretty confident we're not going to replace any of our abilities or our, any of our items. I think the items we have right now are pretty amazing. There is a healing one though. Um, so maybe, maybe we could get a good healing one. I want to run through the middle here, but I, I know I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. How did we not die there? 
I'm pretty sure the resuscitate didn't go off. Okay, defeating a boss. Enemy activates a killing spree, power up. No, no. Oh, this one might be, this one's actually not bad. 10% critical chance. We could put that on. Uh, I still think I like the kinetic damage though, but ooh. 10% critical chance. Jeez. Let's do it. I, I I don't know if that's really better or not, but <laughs> it probably I don't know I don't think it is, but it is way more crits. Oh, there's a revive. Okay, let's do resuscitate again. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on my resuscitate cooldowns. Because every crit we lower it, right? We lower the cooldown by 0.1. I don't think we, I don't know if we hold on though. You can't really hug the walls. Yeah, there we go. We used to be able to hug the walls. You can't really do that anymore. That was a really good build though. That was really good. Minigun did crazy damage. Uh, Kunai. Kunai and Thousand Cuts did the most here. Let's see, you killed 20... Wow, you killed... The medic killed more enemies? Whoa! Holy shit! That did 2,800 DPS. That was the second highest damage in the game. Look how much damage she did. 4.1 million compared to 2.8. She out damaged. I was putting a lot of upgrades on the ghost too. I don't think I put any upgrades on the medic. And she did that much damage. Ability damage. 3.7 million. Yeah, look at his weapon. His weapon did no damage. Why is, why is that so low? It took a while to get to Thousand Cuts, but we didn't even upgrade her weapon. <laughs> we got her to, like, syringe one. 350 and 89. 140. Or how... Why is his weapon damage so low? Is it because maybe it wasn't hitting anything? Because, like, we were doing all... Maybe that's why. Maybe we just weren't hitting anything with this because all the ranged abilities were killing. That's you know, that's it. I guess that's probably why. That's probably why the weapons his weapon damages down. But still, that's impressive. She is now she might be a viable, somewhat viable DPS character. Medical drone 138. See, and we turned that into an offense, and that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid if we turned it into an offensive weapon, it wasn't gonna be worth it, and it wasn't. That's nothing DPS. Uh, we were probably better off turning that into the survivability one. I don't think it's probably good to go DPS still with the medic, uh, even though this is a really good ability. But the attack drone doesn't appear to be worth it. It's probably going to be better in most scenarios just to go with the shield and the healing. But yeah, the good, good job, medic. That's that's impressive. Ghost Ghost is a little disappointing here. We even upgraded some stuff too. Sure, no way. Shuriken only did 12 DPS. That's not right. There's no way that's right. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, there's no way. There's no way our Shuriken did 12 DPS. We got that to level 5 and got the evolution. That can't be right. That's lower than everything else in the game. And that was a level five ability. There's absolutely no way that did 12 DPS. It's either broken or this stat is just wrong. I don't know. Okay, either way, 
we're done. Uh, that's it for this build. It was really incredibly powerful. It definitely felt like one of my stronger runs, even though the game, man, the game really ramps up at, <laughs> after like that 20 minute mark. But I think this item combo we had was pretty insane. Um, all the crit damage and then the the reduce, reduction in abilities. That's pretty awesome. All right, everybody. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.